Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Highlander QS. Live high in Highlander QS. Alright, so last episode had us, I don't want to say against tough resistance, but against uh, enemies that were able to do a significant amount of damage to us. We did come out on top, lost to Hetzer, unfortunately, again. Uh, let's go to the mech bay real quick. I'm interested to see if we can actually bring that back, so let's just uh, have a Welcome look now. To pit, Going to storage, I don't think we have... Uh, enough parts yeah we don't so this is the QS one that we have the double 20 it's not compatible with the regular non QS versions unfortunately so yeah not much I can do about that we do have the hunchback we can throw together but I'm not worried about that right now we can worry about that when we jump let's have a look at the at the uh, command center because I do have a mission I know I want to take today so let's go here Commander. We are going to take this one against Tamron Abbey. Um, so, this should be, it's with the uh, 211 salvage, it should be a good fight, I think. Three and a half skulls. Gonna go full salvage, because... Uh, I don't know, 400,000 more? Probably for repairs. The extra two of these... Not going to make that much difference, I don't think. I don't know what they're going to have. Who knows? But let's just get into battle here. So, uh, if we load Lance B, it should give us our pilots. Right? Yeah. So our pilots are back. Duke's going to move out of there. The Frit is going here. Nidhogg is going here. Vision is a little bit down, so we're going to pull him out. And we're going to bring in Moxie down here. And then the main mech is you. And our last guy is going to be the Bushwhacker. We're going to go this route. Four skulls. Should be good. Let's see what they got. Interface All right, well, here we go. As Darius said, as soon as we make contact, there should be more more guys showing up. So, uh, where are we here? What map are we on? Oh, it's the valley map. Oh, well, this is going to be... Narrow alleyway fight. Well, let's do it. Let's just go... And start a night fight too, eh? Uh, like here. Sounds good to me. They should all be coming from the same zone, so it's a straight up overpower your enemy fight, looks like. I'm interested to see how this streak BPC works out. Looks like they got two. Oh my god, they got a lot of flyers too. And is it going to give them the ability to move first? Because of course it probably will. Yeah, round two. Okay, let's see what happens here. So what do we got here? Malak. Taraba. Yachim. We got to kill these guys fast. I think we've got the range to do it too. Except for maybe you. Get up here. Got it. Full speed, no target. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Do you? Because I've already seen them. They got two lances. They got a 33% increase in size over us. This guy's decided he wants to sacrifice himself. So let's take that. Waiting for orders. We accept your sacrifice. Maybe not. <laughs> oh boy. 
God damn, look at all the missile launchers on this thing. Copy that. Oh, the Goss hit though. All right. Front hit. Standing by. Got to stay more to the left, I think. I know we're kind of grouped up, but we got to kind of stick together. If we move, if we move too much to the uh, other side, we're in a lot of trouble. Please land the tag. Please land anything. Negative damage. Repeat, I can see negative that. Damage. I can see that. I'm interested to see what the Avatar's chance to hit is. What are you? Avatar. I'm receiving you. Guy blipped in and out. Not sure what he is. So you got a thumper cannon. That's a lot of SRMs. Gotta hope something gets through. Yeah, there we go. Something. Uh, yep. Anything. First turn's always the All slowest. Right, let's move. Ostrock. Lament, I have no idea what that is. Armor's okay. Oh my god, really? Skipper. Twelve percent with the peep. I got you. We gotta get our uh, savage wolf up there to ping him. Take a shot. I'm on him. Nope. No love on that strike. So much for him being a sacrificial lamb, huh? If he does move in, though, there's a good chance we can kill him. But he's got to make sure they don't have too much fire support from back here. Like that. From the PPCs. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. I see that. You got lots of armor, so just chill out. That's the flyer. Avatar. Come on. Is he coming forward or is he backing up? He's coming forward, right? He is. Shit, that's bad news for us. Maybe not. He didn't do anything. Waiting for orders. So let's go here. Confirmed. Let's do this. Sensors locked on. That should help. Okay, hatchet men. Should be able to kill the hatchet men pretty quickly, I think. He's slow, so I don't think he'll be able to, you know, he won't really have a chance to get to us. Yeah, this is a good fight. Could you imagine if, if our other lands tried to take these guys on? Fuck off. I'm losing armor bad. 
Yeah, we are losing Losing armor, armor. so just chill. Ready to rock. Really? After all that, and it's still only like a handful of percentages? Really? Man, we gotta rely on getting lucky. Jesus, really? Come on, man. You gotta be shitting me. That should have hit. Receiving you. Yeah, we're all saying the same thing. Gotta split gotcha. up here. Let's not, let's not give them a direct line of sight on us, but let's hope we get lucky here with something. I don't know what makes the flyers so immune to being shot. Is it the speed? Maybe. But you gotta think, you're like sitting floating out in the open. A big bulky thing floating in the open. How can you not... Yes, Commander. Not give them a direct line of sight on me. Ten percent. It's all going to come down to luck. Without the, without me killing, being able to kill these flyers, those three flyers could just kill could just kill my entire team if they use them correctly. Okay, the AC hit. Nice. We'll follow up from whatever angle that hit on, and hit the rotor. I'm here. Acknowledge. Okay, my flyers have got to survive until we get to uh, their mechs. Just use it. What are your orders, Skipper? Same with you. I mean, I guess we could try and do an end run around and, and, uh... I mean, we could try- oh. What's the chance of him shooting this down, though? Like, if I put it at the end... Do you think it would make it through? Improved or better, but the incendiaries are harder for him to hit. Do I use it now at 47 or do I wait and try and get a better shot on him? Let's try and get a better shot on him. 50-50 doesn't sit well with me. Three flyers, really? <sighs> I mean, I guess the advantage is we've got a ridge line here that we can kind of pack back up down behind so the mechs can't shoot at me until the flyers are dealt with. He's retreating. At least we can still see him. And second guy. Just rotate back and forth, fly in, fly out, fly in, fly out. Holy shit, are you kidding me? Oh. Commander, I'm hit. Well, let's hope he's out of everything. Jesus Christ.
I don't even. What do I say to this? Receiving you. The. Like, why is it why? It doesn't matter how much targeting I have. It's just all garbage. It's all gonna be luck. Like, honestly, why... Think about it. From a perspective of any military, at what point would you just not go with, like, all of these guys? Just build a countless numbers of Herfreets. Like, you know, and then have battle armor... Like, using the rules of the game, have them carry battle armor. Or why would why would you even need a mech? What's the point? Yeah, you could you could argue limited payload, sure. But how's this like <laughs> limited payload? Load up with a bunch of overheat like bombs to overheat your enemy and then we gotta hope they get hopefully get lucky and hit that rotor again. Alright, landed one. Just keep hitting him till he's gone. Fifteen out of fifty, eh? Orders. Good thing you didn't get knocked over. Do I have any Vigilance? I do. Really? I'm on him. Well, you guys better friggin' settle in for a long fight, because this is ridiculous. Where do we hit this guy? The back? No, because if we're shooting him in the back, why would we hit him his back? Side. Might be able to capitalize on that. Yes, Commander. Somehow. Aim for his back, hit him in the side. Ten percent. I mean, All right. I don't know. I'm worried about this guy's... Th th he's like an SRM-20. He can inflict a lot of damage with this thing. Especially since he's got ridiculously great chances to hit us. And we can't hit, we can't hit him at all. He's like immune to being hit, pretty much. No love on that strike. I mean, you could argue, too, that, like, you could easily build these guys with, like, a, you know, a couple of heavy, uh, a couple of heavily, like, improved lasers and... My AC-5 is gone. kidding me like really wait it's my left side that's intact right oh god Move order received. I don't have any vigilance so let's just brace it receiving you move you in a second confirmed Seven percent. All right, well, I don't think we're going to get a better shot than this one. Hopefully, his AMS is jammed. Hopefully, his AMS is jammed. 
If not, hopefully our MRMs eat up all the uh, defense. Okay, at least it landed. Nice. One down. I need a new target. My LRMs are out. All right. Good to go. We got one freebie is all we get. Move order received. It's all we get is one freebie. Best chance to hit, I guess. I gotta leave this off because it's just. Firing on target. Well, at least the laser hit. At this point, the game's just feeling sorry for me. It's like, oh, did we say this was three and a half skulls? Yeah, we didn't really mean three and a half. We meant 13 and a half. <laughs> oh, God. The streak PPC better hit. It wouldn't have been any better with the, with the other ones. I mean, it's got marginally better chance to hit, but... Please land. Engaging target. Nice. I think that was a rotor hit. Target down. Got lucky. How do we do for heat there, though? Okay, a little bit over. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, you better run. You're next. Okay. As quickly as I complain, things turned around and we're, uh... Ready for orders. I, I don't want to say we're on equal footing, but at least we're, um... At least we're not behind. Get into here. I'm not in the mood to rush this at the moment. Well, at least they're about as successful as I am. Now, do we capitalize? I'm receiving you. Wait, is this the new turn? Are we still... No, we're still... Walk back here. Brace. Give it a moment. You'll get your shot. That, that flyer's coming back. I gotta remember to turn my jet booster off, too. Question is now, we got we have all these bombs in mind, so I take advantage and just go after this avatar. He's got the LRM, right? All the LRMs. Uh, if we can just shut him the fuck up, then uh So you don't have the jet booster. Wouldn't be this turn, it would be next turn, probably. That's the Ostrock. Let's go after him. Currently not a threat, I know. But it puts me in position to strike this avatar from behind. That's actually good chances to hit. I'm going to switch these up to improve because we want to do some damage, saving the bomb infernos and firing. Okay, the AC missed. A little bit of damage. Where are you going? That's your last free shot. Because I'm tired of you. Orders. Move on here. Move. I want to put her in position so that we can get that ping on that uh, Ifrit when it comes back. We'll brace here. Standing by. All right, Venom. That's a back shot. That's a close range back shot. Fuck this avatar. All right. Down the hill. It puts me in a danger zone for sure, but. Hatchet man, assassin. Okay, so there's sneaky little bastards up here. I just go all in. No, I'm gonna hang on to the quad missiles. Let's just hammer this guy. Reporting 
Okay, good mind spread. No good mind spread. Now, yeah, what's this a freak doing? 28, these guys go. Who is that? Reporting. Minimal the assassin. Damage. Okay. Is he gonna move though? That's the question. Next on fire. Alright, we got ourselves a fight. My man's like really overheating. Are you coming back to fight or are you spinning? You're behind them. I think you're coming after our flyers. Either that or you're coming back. Yeah, he's bringing his AMS back. Smart move. Yeah, you just give up. Why bother shooting at these copters? Or the, the, uh, the VTOLs. There's just no point. Like, look at that. Alright, let's shut this fucker down and then kill him. Ready for orders. Alright, you're up. That's the assassin. Seventeen, huh? Thirty-seven. Twenty-eight. Let's go after the Lament. He's really hot. He's probably not going to do too much next turn. And then if we miss, we might hit the Hatchetman as well. We're going to fire everything on this one. Okay, he's open somewhere. Unless that was a through armor. That was a through armor crit. Alright. Waiting for orders. Everybody fights. Coordinate Nobody quits. Complete. Wow, really? That bad, huh? Still taking the shot though. Let's get some fire down in there. Or not. Why would incendiaries cause fire anywhere? Waiting for orders. Why would they do that? Alright, you hold on. Confirmed. Let's give it to this guy. All right, Monsieur Lavatar, I'm gonna save my Infernos for another mech because this guy's nice and toasty. We'll use the incendiaries. We're probably gonna get shot down by the uh, Efreet anyway, so we'll just take a shot at this guy in his back. Copy that. Give him everything you've got. There you go. Enemy eliminated. See what I mean, though? Like, honestly. I'm receiving you. Why wouldn't you? Why would you just not use flyers? There's no reason to use max at all. Location confirmed. And you could argue, you could say, yeah, well, you know, you need to have, be able to control the ground. You can't win the the, the uh, battle with aircraft alone. And you'd be right. You'd totally be right. Unless the aircraft that were actually flying around were dropping at the same time as... Uh, let's just kill this guy. At the same time that they were strafing you with their, their bombs and whatever else. Switch all the missiles up to lasers instead, of, so you don't have to worry about, you know, how long you're in battle. And then just drop battle armor. Right? Like, what? My SRMs are out. Your battle armor is your, your ground units. Just drop them right next to the enemy. Yep. Oof, we don't have a good... Oh, we do. Here we go. I was going to say, we don't have a shot at that uh, Lament, but we do. We do. Right here. 
Not much of one. We'll take it though. Put the barrage back there. Landed the one. Should not, that should be a knockdown. Excellent. Yes, Commander. Get up into here. Aye, aye. I'm only moving in close to my other guys because I can get a through shot through onto this guy. If I miss, I might hit the other guy. I want to leg him or do I want to try it? Let's try for a leg. If we can get it. Let's throw the rockets up too. Now oh, hang on to the thunderbolts. Oh, nice. Assassin knows we see him. Or the hunchback, or the... Critical hit, Commander. Axeman, that is. I'm out of SRM. He took the AC-5 hit. Don't know where he took it, though. Nice shot. All right, what do we got? 27, the Refreet. Something tells me he's gonna be the last guy we kill. Well, he's moving forward now, so I mean. Nice shot. Reporting major armor loss. I'm under heavy fire. They're banging through my armor. Wow, this guy got knocked down and he still gets up on 23. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah. Confirm. No, we gotta get your armor up here. Affirmative. We need your armor up here. Lamet's the one that's gotta go. Let's just give it to him. I got you. Uh, PPC didn't hit. And everything else hit the other guy. Except for the rockets. Reporting. Critical hit. That's just some bullshit. Range missiles are out. Like, even when it's in my favor, the amount of missing and the amount of headshots and stuff. Look at this guy. You're a fucking champion, buddy. It's getting banged up real good here. I can see that. Standing by. That's the lament. Lament only. Let's do this. Hopefully get ahead of them. Get a shot off on this guy with some incendiaries. Confirmed. Hopefully it puts him over. Yep. Orders. That's the assassin. I want the lament. Where are you? Lament. Right there. Don't want to be there though. Got more armor on the left side, so... We'll back it up a little bit. Take a shot at this guy again. Thunderbolt's good, good chance. Hopefully the AMS is down. Actually, we'll t that shouldn't matter where we shoot, where we put it. Gotcha. Yeah, we missed with it. At least the barrage is going to hit these guys. Well, maybe not. That guy moved forward. All right, well. That guy, the assassin might as well share in the, uh, might as well share in the infernos. I got you. Yeah, you're not getting away from that. Critical hit. Commander. I feel you, buddy. I feel you. He's like, 
This is fucking bullshit. I can't hit these guys. I feel your pain. How are you doing for armor? Still pretty good. Get over here. Give them somebody to shoot for. I guess it's this guy. Firing nice. Commander? Coordinates received. I'll worry about these two guys in the front afterwards. They can't do too, too much. Wait. Why can't my tandems fire? Oh, they can, but... Let's get this done, folks. Uh, okay. Okay, not bad. I'm receiving you. Order acknowledged. No point in being in the open. Let's just back up and brace. Save the machine. What are you doing, Flyboy? Oh, it wasn't Flyboy. It was this guy shooting his own guy in the back. And he knocked him down, too. They're just flustered at this point. They're like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, killing those two flyers when we did changed the whole course of the battle. It's like in chess. They had three queens, we only had two. We took out two of their queens, now they've only got one, so they're like at a serious disadvantage. This guy's like, fuck it, I'm gone. We lost. Our guys are useless, they're even shooting themselves at this point. Orders. Location confirmed. Alright. 27. That's probably a kill shot, but we gotta get this guy down at some point, so let's go after this guy. Byron. Nope. That should've hit. Hadjiman's dead meat already at this point, so there's no point. This is one of the guys we gotta get rid of. Yes, Commander. On my way. Alright, do we drop heat and shred this guy? Probably. Let's just drop some heat. Structure exposed. Ahead, Commander. Commander. You think we can capitalize on that exposed structure? I think we can. Got one Thunderbolt left. Oh, it's open here on the torso. Let's go after that. Not running XL. I think I hit something good. I'm out of long range missiles. Wait, uh, you're not the jet booster guy. Okay. Can't get behind him, eh? Want to chase, take off after this flyer, or do we want to try? Oh, you know what? Let's go here. You got it. I'll save the inferno racks for the uh, assassin, probably for the uh, inferno bombs. This guy's not doing anything. We got two left, so let's just hold on to them and hopefully kill this guy here. Going with improved. Engage target. That's just brutal. Enemy eliminated. Yes, Commander. Hopefully that guy will come back. If not, I'll do what I do before. I'll chase him down and kill him. And, and I'll come back when we're ready to kill him. Oh, oh shit, again! I'm, I'm wounded. Did I not just say I, sh I gotta turn that off and then I didn't do it? Like, I, how many times am I going to do that? Like, probably every time.
damn it. I get thinking about something else and then I just c completely forget like all the time. How's your day going, buddy? Not good, I guess. I'm probably jumping off this planet anyway, so these guys will have a chance to get healed up before we come back. But, uh, shouldn't happen. That's my, that's my fault. Well, of course it's my fault. Like, I'm the, <laughs> there's no one else here. What are you doing, buddy? At least he's keeping the fight up. He's keeping the dream alive. I don't know where you're going. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. We got one salvo left. Let's use it. Let's use it. What's up, buddy? Roger. Wow, not very many heavy rockets landed. My yes, sir. Yeah. Thought so. Standing by. Might as well move in the trees. Confirmed. Get a little extra protection. Uh, is he in my ping radius? That's a good question. He is. I've got a sensor lock. He is. Standing by. Five bleeding out activations, damn it. Do I go after... Roger. I'll take a couple of pot shots at this guy up here, and then I gotta just like sit here and do nothing while the other free ch or the uh, Nidhogg chases them down. Wait, is this the Nidhogg? No, it's not. Confirm. Still got some AMS, do ya? Hopefully not for long. Failed to connect. Well, at least it's the AC guy chasing him down. Hopefully we can get some shots in on him. Ten four. I should just try and remember to turn that jet booster off by default. 9.6, eh? If I have to chase this guy down with my mechs, Standing by. I'm going to be so angry. Aye, aye. All right, flanking shot. Aye, aye. Confirm. All right, Boomy. Let's just give it to him. Affirmative. Reporting. Critical hit. Yeah, that uh, ping kind of ended this guy's uh, run of good luck. He's fast, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I take it back. He's really fast. Of course. I don't even know what to say to that. I know he's got the speed. That's not what I'm that's not what I'm complaining about. But the fact that he's missing an arm, so he automatically loses a huge percentage of his chance to hit. And he's just able to run across the map like that. Sure. Sure. Close range, 20%, we'll take it. Guy's got to run out of AMS ammo sooner or later. And then when he does, well, I don't know what. I'll use the improved, because why not? Copy that. It's better chance to shoot down, but it's using up his AMS ammo. I would rather use the high damage stuff on the other guy. Okay. 
Can I get a solid line anywhere? I cannot. I can get a back shot though, but let's stay in the trees if I can. Perfect. Brutal. Here you go. Target lock on enemy trail. Wow, most of the stuff missed. Waiting for orders. I think you should probably get in the trees. It might end up saving you. Ten four. It might just end up saving you if we can't get this guy knocked down. Ten four. All right, let's see what we get here. Hopefully the heavy streak fires. Hopefully it fires. Uh, we better leave that barrage off. Ten four. There's the leg. Okay, there you go. Target down. I'm here. It's always the trade. Acknowledge. We got a couple more turns before this guy's. Uh, Gotta just sit still. Roger that. Uh, AMS is finally out of ammo. Yes, Not that we can actually hit anyway. Let's get over here. Regained stance, Commander. All right, we'll wait for that flyer to come around the corner. Like, I don't know. I still can, It's still confusing to me with the melee damage, how they do. So you got a 40-ton mech running at full speed, slamming into something that weighs 75 tons. Confirmed. And how they just don't... Affirmative. ...end up... Like, at the speed that guy was traveling, how far he was able to cover... You think about the speed that he was traveling at, over 100 kilometers an hour, easy, maybe 120, 130 kilometers an hour. Standing by. And he comes to a complete stop, and he's cool. He's all right. Confirmed. My mech only took a handful of damage. I ran full speed, in, speed into a, something that weighed, you know, almost twice as much as me, but I'm all right. Yes, Commander. Uh, how are we doing here? Handful more activations. Location confirmed. This will be the last shot, then we'll just sit here. See what happens. 10%, eh? Good angle. Fire so he's got Orders. AMS flares. Order acknowledged. Yeah, we'll flare this. I don't think we're getting a much better chance to hit than that. Upper. Christ, he's taking, he's taking no damage. Like, he's taking no damage. Standing by. Moving out. Alright, well. I'm going to fly around and attempt to kill this guy. And it, I don't know, hopefully quickly, but chances are it's going to be, well, we're on round 12. We'll probably be at least 10 or 12 rounds, so I'll come back when there's like any hits or anything going on. Well, round 14, we got a large laser hitting from Boomer here. Yes, Commander. For 40 whole points of damage. Confirmed. Holding and cooling. I just, I don't even, Heading out. I can't even get my sensor lock in here because I can't sprint with this guy. Like, look at the chances they hit. Is this like... Actually, 5.4 has been pretty good for this guy because it's mostly 0.9. Well, I finally, at round 15, I finally drained all our AMS flares, but my Nidhogg is almost done with ammo. I've got like, a, I think I got one more shot at him. My AC ammo is gone, and this guy is still... I had to spend two turns stopping him from bleeding out. So he got a couple of rounds left. Receiving you. But it's like... Got it. This is just not fun. 
Like, look at that. All right, well, we made our way through the minefield. I used uh, my light PPCs here to cut my way through. So we're kind of finally on this side. The Nidhogg, or the uh, Ifrit, has been like bouncing back and forth between down here and up here. It's so bad with what it's doing. This this guy's just been sitting here using first aid. I noticed that they changed first aid slightly so that every time you use it, it doesn't just stop your bleeding. It adds one more turn, which is nice because it allows you to keep you in the fight, right? So, as you can see, this thing's taking like, like almost no damage still. It's just like... Waiting for orders. This is probably the worst one. Confirm. I mean, the fact that we're going to get an Efreet out of this is like nice, but do I want to like spend this much freaking time? Order acknowledged. And the worst thing is like, I forgot this, this uh, Nidhogg has got incendiary ammo for the AC. I've had an 18% chance for five turns and hasn't, haven't hit once. Copy that. Still haven't hit. Like, it's just... Yep. There we go. Copy that. Street PPC hasn't hit yet, too. I'm waiting for this thing. I've just been able to shoot the large laser, but recently I've been able to get it into range here. So hopefully it lands. Nope. At least the tag's on. Commander. Now you should be in aye, aye. sensor lock range. Finally. Yep. Got a lock. So that could be the end of it for this guy. I'm receiving you. Okay, you need to move. I see they've kind of eliminated that exploit where you can kind of just stop. Although it should be that. But whatever. Hammer this guy with what I can. He's, his AMS is out now. Ten four. Not that it matters. Good thing my tandems are doing zero damage to the internals. All right, well, with that sensor lock on, uh, I have now a 20% chance to hit. Ah, uh, what do you know? That's all I needed was the extra 2%. Standing by. Hopefully he comes back down here and we can shred him with the rest of these guys. That's just brutal. I'm receiving you. Although we might get a kill here. I bet you I hit the rotor. I bet you any money I hit the rotor. Let's find out. Of course I did. Now I'm at 8% chance to hit. All right. Got a couple points. At least he remembers to turn his jet booster off. Oh, you decided to go a little different this time, eh? You gonna actually shoot? Find out. I'm gonna be the recipient. Nope. I'm here. Thought for sure I was going to be the recipient of some death Roger. there, but apparently not. I'd have far more respect for this game if this guy just tried to destroy us completely. I'd hate the fact that we all died, but I'd be happy that at least he, he did something that was like Roger that. what he should have done. Because honestly, Commander. those three, uh, those three Afrits should have defeated us. They had no problem doing it. That probably would have, would have been more entertaining watching those three Ifrits defeat me than this is. Yep. Streak's still not hidden. Confirm. All right, buddy, let's finish this off, please. Move order received. Oh my god. Come on. I don't even, can I hit him? I have no idea. Target locked. Apparently I can. There you go. Mission successful. Well, I'm happy to report that no pilot died during the recording of this episode, but that's what's going to cost to fix our mechs, probably. Yeah, Bushwalker took some good damage. It's just a pirate AC that we lost. Everything else is integrated, so it's not so bad, I guess, but still. But still. 
All right, what do we got? A full avatar, well, which I've still got sitting in storage. And a whole bunch of free parts. Do I have any sitting around? Oh, I got two of this guy. The Yahim, right? Because we lost this one, right? Right. See, the armor is moderate on that. Adarba is what? That's the Thumper version. I think he ran out of ammo, which is why he did nothing at the last little bit. He was just flying back and forth. But I don't think he used his bomb racks. The Malik's what? Tandem rockets, snub nose PPC, bomb daisy cutter. Really? I think the Yahim's the best. Let's grab that piece. And then... Well, look at all the... Mech Lance. Two medium X pulses. Snub PPC. Do we have one? I don't have any. SRM. Oh, fuck. Really? Sorry. Can't do it. I have to grab these two. I have to do it. It's not often you get a chance to see that. I think these were on. I think those are on the uh, on the VTOLs. Not often we get to see that. Although radical heatsink kit double. Nope. Going with the zooms. We got sinking. We're okay there. Superchargers. Yeah, AMS costs caseless ammo, which is increased chance to jam. Okay, so not bad. We'll take those. What do we get? Two X-Pulses. The snub PPC, we actually got the Yahim. How many times has that happened? Where I put something in, and then I take it out, and then it just shows up in here again. It's like a fair bit. So this is emergency coolant systems. Are these for... Provides three additional heat sinks. Activates automatically. Minus 35 heat when active. Let's hold on to those because I don't know where. Three tons, manufacturer risk. Were these in the VTOLs? Probably. Energy accuracy is nice. Thermal vision is nice. Although not as good as, ever, as the zooms, of course. But uh, that's actually a good roll. That's a good roll. All right, well, yeah, see, told you. There goes all our money, all the money that we made. Uh, 33 days for repairs. Not too bad. I mean, it could have been, been worse. We could have lost the pilot. Got a bunch of people injured, though. Yeah, I got to manage my tasks a bit. Let's go, um, let's just have a look here. What we're sitting at with uh, vehicles and stuff. So if we go to the vehicle bay, I should probably put a bunch of these in storage. So the yellow jacket we're probably not going to use. It's the one with the uh, plasma cannon. Although you know what I'm interested to see. Okay, let's leave you there. Where's the regular Pegasus? This guy right here, right? So let's put you in storage. I don't think we're going to need that. Chaparral, probably not going to use that again. We might use it later, but... We're not gonna put it. In, we're gonna put it in storage. Marksman. Well, it's interesting. We got the Hellstorm artillery. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. We got to use it once before. Uh, so let's put that up there for now, because I'm I'm wondering if we should do a. Uh, we got a bunch of vehicle pilots. I wonder if we should do a mission where it's just all vehicles, all flyers. That's a possibility. Put you back here as a reserve. Actually, you know what? We can put this. We can put you in storage for now. It'll save a little bit of sea bills. Put you in storage for now, and then we'll go to our storage, and we'll grab that. Where are you here? There you are. It's ready, you. Now the question is. That neck you asked for is thank you. For oh, thank you very much. Do we have another flyer? We can put together another yellow jacket, which is what? Goss rifle and a rocket with no armor. Thunderbolt, a little bit more armor. Thunderbolt 20 quad missile pod. Let's ready that guy. 
I'm serious about this. We're going to do a flyer mission. Because why not, right? That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Yeah. Okay. Obviously not we're doing... We're, obviously, we're not obviously doing it today, but... Uh, I'm kind of glad... I'm kind of sad I sold those other VTOLs now. So we've got these guys... I don't know, I'm thinking it's got to be like... The trick is, is we're going to have limited ammo, right? That's the problem. We've got the plasma cannon with 10 shots. And inferno bomb, so we can overheat somebody. This one's got kinetic kill. How many rounds? Oh, we got a fair number of rounds. There's what, three per shot here? Three, six, nine. That's what, three or two? Twelve... 15 shots. So what you do is you use this guy at the back. Fire control system missile hit points. Bonus hit point modifier. Really? That's a little bit of a cheat. Increased missile range. And minus miss missile minimum range. So what are we looking at here for this guy? 120 damage at 840 meters, 75 meters, minimal distance. It's what, 10% farther? Was it? Missile range is 10? 20%. So it's like 1,000 meters. So one kilometer. You know what? This is totally viable because you could like get around behind the enemy you fly in with one of these guys, bomb them, overheat them, shut them down, and then the TBM-20 guy just comes around behind and puts one straight up their pipe. You know? You bring in the, the Inferno Mines, you lay them out, like, right where... Because we got Inferno Mines on this guy, too. You lay them out right where the bulk of the enemy is. And then you just backstab the hell out of them. If they got anti-air, you're in trouble, but if they don't... Well, even if they do have anti-air, you kill that thing first. Plasma cannon from range. We just need one more flyer now. That's totally going to be worth it. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. When we come back for the next couple of episodes, I'm going to jump. I'm going to get the quick cell mechs, the two... Um, We'll get both of the uh, quick draws up and running, so we'll have a, a relatively faster first lance. Well, it'll be heavier anyway. The second lance, I'm going to get some repairs on. I'm not happy with the loadouts. We don't quite have the firepower. We got a, we got a bunch of pinpoint, but as I was saying before, if you can't land the pinpoint, what's the point? Like honestly, we got lucky with the quick sell shot on the side of that, uh, on the side of the Efreet. That was just a lucky shot, and then. The arrow, obviously, the anti-air air, arrow with a 99% chance to hit. That, I mean, that I knew there was going to be a kill with that. All I needed to do was land the shot and make sure we had a good chance to hit and the AMS wasn't working, which we got lucky and got that done. So, I don't know. Well, I'll, I'm going to leave the quick sell um, Heavy Streak PPC on the Avatar for now. I might change the loadout on the Mad Cat. I might switch it out from Goss to something else. Maybe we go with the with the pair of ER PPCs, just so that we've got some some uh, long range consistent firepower. I don't know. I got to think about it. But I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and go check out that quick sell site. And until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>